guys, I am moving into my new storage unit. I got a bunch of stuff here on this cart from the old unit. And I've kind of been having a headache with this place, but I just got here. I just opened up the thing. This little blue tab is like a security thing for new. Um, it's on the door for the ones that are not rented. And so I paid for this key. They gave me a key. I have my own key though from the previous place because I had to buy one um, from their place. So I had to pay for that. Then they said if I had one, they'd um, refund it to me, which is fine. I'm getting my money back anyway, but there should have been an option for me to not have to pay for that anyway if I had one. Now, what I don't like is this. Look at this floor. I don't know what the hell this is, but it's disgusting. They didn't even try to clean it up before moving me in here at all. And now I feel like maybe I should stay at the unit that I'm at because that place was super clean. I didn't have any problems. The staff was super nice and it was clean. I mean, that's the main thing is the place was clean. This is concerning. If this is my first day moving in and this is what I'm looking at right now, I mean, this storage unit is definitely a downgrade from the one that I was in. And also I've been trying to find a camera from the elevator all the way down here. Look, it's a maze. Huge. This is a huge facility with aisles and aisles. And I have not seen one camera in here, which is another concern. But look at this. The one that I was in before, it was closed. So like if there was a leak or something, there was like a roof basically to, to stop it from any kind of damage. So now I'm like... It's 7.30 in the morning. I don't think their office opens till 9. I don't want this unit. I'm going to request that they move me to a different one. I'm also going to ask about cameras. My friend was just telling me that uh, his friend, also renting from this same company that I'm renting from now, this one, someone broke into their storage unit and stole, I think he said it was like $2,000 worth of stuff. And that the storage facility was owned by a different company. And this company that I'm renting from bought it from them. And they had a bunch of high-tech security cameras and all that. That when this company bought that company, they downgraded all their security stuff. And that's how their things got stolen. The other thing I'm looking at is this gap in the wall here. Uh... There's a unit on the other side of mine over here. So I'm guessing that goes over into like this unit. But anyway, that's, that's what's going on right now. I filled up my car, brought this over here with plans to drop this off, go back and get the rest of the stuff, come back, and hopefully I could do everything in two trips. But now that the office is closed, there's no one here. There's not anyone for me to talk to about this mess. I don't know what, I mean, is it mold? I don't know what it is, which makes it even worse. It's some kind of wet, it, I mean, it just looks like wet, like maybe something leaked. And when the people moved out their stuff, whatever dirt or something on the bottom, or I don't know, but it makes me nervous about putting clean clothes that I'm gonna be sending to other people, storing it here, looking at this, like, come on. Whoever put this key here, whoever put the lock on and this little pamphlet for me to move in, you know, they saw that when they opened this door, which is concerning. So, uh, I'm going to hop off here and figure out what my next move is going to be. I did not I talked to the people at my current unit and said I was going to move out. Um, I have like three days to get all my stuff out of there. I have paid the deposit for this one, but it's not too late for me 
to back out of it, I think. Um, and just keep the unit I have. I'd rather have a clean unit where I don't have to worry where there's cameras and security and I just don't have to worry about it than like, than this. So, um, I'll send an update later. That's my situation right now. See you guys later. Bye.